www.ghostbusters.co.uk. Good afternoon. An investigation into the brutal murder of a Bristol woman has been reopened three decades later. Carol Clark was 32 when she was strangled and her body was dumped at the side of Gloucester and Sharpness Canal in 1993. Despite extensive inquiries and case reviews, her killer has remained at large, but now police say new and significant information could unlock the case on the 30th anniversary of her body being found. We have got family liaison officers uh, in, in touch, in, in contact with um, Carol's family and supporting them through, through this and uh, updating them with our investigation. But you're absolutely right, this never goes away for them. It is 30 years, but this lives with them every single day. So if there is someone out there with that vital bit of information to help us um, get justice for Carol's killer um, and help them get closure, please come forward. A Trowbridge man who pretended to be a domestic abuse victim to convince people to give him money has been sent to prison. 45-year-old Andrew Alexander pleaded guilty to multiple counts of burglary and fraud. He was described as a prolific offender and has been sentenced to four and a half years in prison. Pub and club owners in the southwest are calling for a new law to tackle drink spiking and attacks with needles. The government says there's no need for extra legislation, but campaigners say a specific spiking offence would make it easier to report. One of the biggest issues with spiking is that people don't report it until perhaps 12, 24 hours after it's happened, by which point anything that may have been in their system is, is probably gone. More volunteers are needed to join the breastfeeding team at the RUH in Bath. They support mothers who choose to breastfeed on the antenatal and neonatal units as well as visit community locations across the city and West Wiltshire. People will be able to swim in Bristol Harbour this spring. Swimmers will have to pay £7 an hour to take a dip in the Baltic Wharf, which will have lifeguards, safety boats and water quality sampling. And there's a happy ending for Charlie, who was dubbed Britain's loneliest dog as he's found a home. The Beagle Cross waited patiently for years at the RSPCA Centre in Somerset after being rescued from an abusive home. Following an appearance on ITV West Country, Charlie has now found a new owner. Let's take a look at the region's weather with James Wright. Feels like home, whatever the weather. Valent Boilers and Heat Pumps, sponsors ITV West Country Weather. Hello there, good afternoon. Lots of cloud around and a few outbreaks of patchy, drizzly rain still to push through. We've got highs of 9 to 11 Celsius, so pretty mild considering the breeze and the lack of sunshine. As we head to the evening and overnight, we'll hold on to a lot of cloud. It's quite a low cloud base, and that's why it's showing up as mist patches in places. As far as temperatures go, though, that mild southerly breeze keeping us on the mild side, we're looking at lows of 8 or 9 Celsius. Sets us up for a grey day, but a showery day. Some of these showers could turn out to to be rather heavy, uh, rather blustery as they pass through too, but once again, even milder, We're looking at highs of 13 or 14. Valent, sponsors ITV West Country Weather. Thanks, James. That's it from us this lunchtime. We're back again at six this evening. Do join us if you can. Bye-bye. Looking for Bobby Dazzlers in lovely Bridlington now on ITV.